Good morning. In an ideal world, we'd be updating you that the heat wave has passed and <laughs> things are back down to like an okay temperature, but that is not the case. It is still extremely hot here. How are you doing, hon? Not good. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a heat lover like Todd is, unfortunately. Yeah, even I'm finding it a little warm. That's why last week it was so nice to hang out with you all down at the river where we were able to keep a little bit cooler while filming, which was nice for a change. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we actually ended up doing two of those videos. So we posted the one on Sunday and then we posted even more answers on Wednesday. So if you haven't seen that one, make sure you check it out. Tyler's just working on the coffees and yeah. I'm going to go for a walk. Is that him? <laughs> Hello? Well, I guess our okay, slow I'll start to the day right is gonna be a little different. We're gonna slam these coffees back and get back to work. Oh, it's back here. Oh, thank you. Another day, another load of firewood. Yeah, so we <laughs> don't have time this year to build a woodshed. So what we're doing is we've got a tarp on the ground that will stop the ground moisture from coming up into it. That was Tyler's idea. And then we got some used pallets from local shops that we're gonna stack the wood on and then cover it with another tarp. And then that should keep it dry for the winter. Yeah, it's Fingers just crossed. It's just to like elevate the wood off the ground. Yeah. And all the pallets were free and the tarp I think was like 30 bucks. So yeah. Exactly, it's and this wood is for the house too. So we've got, I think, four cord coming because we don't know how much five. wood. Five. Yeah, we don't know how much wood we're actually gonna burn inside this year. It's obviously our first winter, but this way we'll be able to be nice and toasty while we're doing all the inside construction when it's snowing outside. Exactly, and just to give you some perspective, so this is where the wood shelter will eventually be. And then that's our seating area. And then the little driveway goes to the house site. So we made it as close as possible. Exactly. What do you think, buddy? Is this a good spot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get stacking. Okay, let's do it. Just finished stacking the second cord of wood. We are doing this as fast as we possibly can so when he comes back with the truck, the first load is already moved out of the way so he can get as close to the pile as possible. I looked it up because I was curious how much a cord weighs. It's three thousand pounds which is just nuts so obviously if we can limit the distance that we have to go from the pile to the stacked pile the better he's just coming down the road now on to cord number three Holy smokes, it's a lot of wood. <laughs> I'm so over this. How are you feeling? Pretty tired. We've got just about four cords stacked, which is huge because it gives us like such a sense of comfort that we know we're gonna be warm and able to keep working on the house this winter. Look at those guns. Give us the show, come on. <laughs> I'm like too tired to do any extra work. <laughs> Holy, but a common question we get asked is why we bring our wood in and we don't cut and split our own wood on the property. Oh yeah. Well. We don't have a lot of hardwood here. We're mostly softwood. So what we're burning is hardwood because it gives you a higher BTU when you burn it, which is how much heat you get per like fire. So yeah, we just bring it in. Plus if we cut all of our trees, we wouldn't have any trees around here. Yeah, we want to keep, so like these are hardwoods obviously, maples. Our maple maize, we love them too much. We yeah. want to get into making syrup one day. So they got to stick around. All right, so we got four cord there. Got one cord here and one cord on the way. We're just gonna keep hustling on and 
We got this. Getting her done. She's got beauty. She's got grace. <laughs> oh, I just want to do this for the rest of my life. I feel the same. It is such a beautiful afternoon. It's so beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky. How you doing? I'm okay. If I never touch a, another stick of firewood again, I'll be okay. <laughs> oh! Nope, that was a fish on me for sure. Oh! Oh! I said nope. <laughs> when they start eating, I start running. <laughs> I gotta clean my bits. I'll tell you what, after all that physical work today, I am majorly craving some carbs. I actually came down to the dome earlier and started making some bread. We, <laughs> we haven't done this in a while, but this cast iron pot here, we used to make um, bread in it on top of the wood stove in the winter. It's a Dutch oven. We've been over this like a thousand oh, yeah. times. It's not a pot, it's a Dutch oven. <laughs> Shout out to our Dutch friends. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it makes the best bread. You just spray a little bit of olive oil in the bottom, put the dough on top, let it rise, and then put it on top of your burner for like an hour on low, and it crisps up. Like like oh. you, you wouldn't even believe, it's the best bread I've oh, ever yeah. had. It's that steam heat magic. Yeah, and we're pairing it with some bow tie pasta and grilled eggplant with chili olive oil on top. Mm. It's gonna be really good. But we got all of these supplies in the mail thanks to Bespoke Post, the sponsor of today's video. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands and it's free to join. 90% of the products that come in the boxes are from small businesses like the El Forno box that we used tonight that came with two different types of bread knives as well as a chili infused olive oil. When you first sign up for Bespoke Post, you'll fill out a questionnaire. Based on your interests, you'll get a customized box for you each month. But the coolest part is you have three options. You can take the box that's sent to you, you can swap it for for another one or if you want to take the month off you can just skip it you only pay for what you want we've been signed up for bespoke for six months now and there have been so many cool products that we've gotten to try but my favorite so far has been the billy we pack it in our go bag whenever we go for a hike or go kayaking it's pretty awesome to be able to make coffee on the go to save 20% off your first month, head to the link in the description box down below and use our custom code TylerandTodd20 or head to bespokepost.com slash TylerandTodd20. That's perfect timing, dinner's ready. I wish you guys could smell this. Holy smokes, it is so good. Eggplant's a little well done, but that's how we like it here. <laughs> it is better crispy. Oh yeah. And oh, then... oh, look at this. Wait till you see this though. You ready? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's like perfect. Bottom's a little well done. That's okay. Now, we're not bread making experts by any means, but the bottom <laughs> is pretty crispy. <laughs> it actually made it better, like forgetting about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It tastes better than before. It's because we like things crunchy, that's why. <laughs> yeah. We're like very much well done people oh yeah very well done drop it on the floor and if it shatters we'll, we'll eat, eat it, it. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna finish dinner and catch up with you guys in a bit so it's a few hours later and we have been spending the evening in the outhouse of all places <laughs> <laughs> well we brought the babies with us what i find the reason we're out here is the temperature is like stable because yeah. we insulated the building when we built it, I find we don't get really hot or really cold. We just kind of stay constant. Hey. I don't think you should be doing that, Lily. Well, it's a good thing we didn't do anything with the door because it's working out as a scratch post for her. True. <laughs> We've um, honestly been having kind of a really frustrating, disappointing night. Just as we were finishing up dinner, we got a call that the house is delayed. So the main structural beam that supports the whole weight of the roof didn't come in. It's a 3,500 pound steel beam and there's, I guess, a steel shortage and I don't know, just... And it can't ship without the beam in yeah. place and it can't be built without the beam in place, so... <laughs> It's just, it feels frustrating. Like, as you guys know, it's been two years of our life planning every detail and 
We were really looking forward to it. The house was supposed to be delivered on August 2nd, which is so soon, and it's also our eighth wedding anniversary, and we were just like... It seemed like a sign. Yeah, all this planning and just everything culminating into this one moment, and it's just... I don't know, it's, we just kind of feel like a gut punch right now, so... I think, like... I think that the worst part is, it's so last minute that I now have to like rush out and get a gift for Tyler because the house was supposed to be his anniversary gift and it's like, oh, <laughs> no. I think why this one, like obviously we're two years into this process and like we've become accustomed to delays and setbacks, but I think the reason that this one hurts so much is because like that seemed like the perfect date it seemed like the universe was telling us a sign and then we're also at a point where we're so close now that I can literally like I can feel the house I can see it and to like if the delay had have happened when we were further away from it actually arriving it wouldn't have felt the same if that makes any sense it just feels so real now to like have it delayed even more just kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, the good news is we have some Shit bathroom wine. <laughs> <laughs> bathroom wine, and yeah, we're just relaxing. But you're supposed to once you clink your glass. Good thing the handle's as high as it is. Yeah, really. We got a little escape artist on our hands. Oh. Um, but you're supposed to take a sip after you do cheers, otherwise it's bad luck. Oh right. And we got That's enough right. of that. <laughs> we need some good luck. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to enjoy our night, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, all right. That's a new trick. That's new. <laughs> We are getting a little bit of a late start to the morning today, which may or may not be the fault of bathroom wine. Or <laughs> these hammocks. Gotta stop putting hammocks up every year. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of productivity lost in the hammock. It's just so relaxing. <laughs> and the birds chirping. It's like the perfect way to start and end the day, actually. Yeah. And we got our little boys with us, too. Hey, buddies. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, let me in. Let me in, please. Where's the zipper? <laughs> what do you want to do today? Mm, I'm not sure. I was thinking we could just like putter around the yard. Yeah, I want to do some gardening, I think. Yeah, be good to get some things off the old to-do list, right? Keep us busy, keep us moving. Keep us active, keep yeah. us producing food. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be good this winter. I could lay here for a bit longer. Mm, I'll allow. So it has been a couple weeks since we installed this garden and Tyler is still coming out every single night and watering this massive thing by hand with a tiny little watering can. I actually really enjoy it. It's quite therapeutic. It's definitely not the most effective use of my time. Not even close, but... <laughs> That hopefully changes today. So last week's video, you all left us the amazing advice that we should do drip irrigation for the garden. So I picked up what I think is enough supplies to make a little system for us to hopefully bring my best friend back to me so that he can stop spending so much time in the garden and be my friend again, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. It's like an hour and a half each day. Every single day. So yeah. anyway, we're gonna set the watering can down for good and get this project going. You ready? I hope this works. I think it will. Let's try it. Okay. We have 60 nozzles total to do this whole area, and this is the tubing. So we just cut it where we need. Super easy. And then use whichever part they say to use. Let's make sense? Okay. All right, I think we should probably put all these adapters together first. That's gonna make it a lot easier. I think this is great. We'll have to figure out how to do it for like those gardens. Yeah. Well, if it works. Yeah. Why don't we do all this work for nothing? That wouldn't surprise me. But if we went in the middle of the potatoes with a sprinkler, we could get the potatoes done quicker. And okay. then go up to where like the zucchini is. That's more important to have a drip, drip on that one plant. So move that to the middle, I think. Move the peg to the middle? Yeah. 
you want me to put the spikes in? Sure. Do you ever get curious and want to dig up the potatoes to see if there's anything down there? All the time. All the time. Like, I, I need to know. I I think I might just dig like a small little bit out. Just to see. see. What we'll do though, is we'll loop here. And we'll go like this. So the way it's designed. Let's make connections. Do you know what's funny? You're probably the smartest person I've ever met in my life. Like you're actually borderline genius. It annoys me. But what like, can I say? That Wait. With Let's leave it out of a compliment. No, it is a compliment, but then it comes down to you overthink everything. <laughs> like trying to buy, get you to decide on a soup of can in the grocery store is excruciatingly painful. You know what the difference between me and you is? What? I know it's a can of soup. What did I say? A soup of can. Yes. <laughs> Where's the soup of can? Really doesn't go as far as I thought. No. Well, when you build a garden the size of a baseball field, kind of. Makes sense. Yeah, but can I get away with just like <laughs> two packages of this? <laughs> oh, my. oh my. I want it all, but there's a budget. You know what though? That's okay. Okay, here, take this. this. We'll see if we, maybe we just get the onion and potato done and we keep doing that. And then uh, I can order we, more. We'll, we order more. I would rather do it right. Yeah. So we just used up all of the irrigation supplies that we have. Um, we really underestimated <laughs> how far this is gonna go. Oh yeah, thought we had this all done, but nope, not even close. Five rows. <laughs> Out of 19. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna have to order more supplies, but let's go turn it on and make sure that it actually works. Okay, do you wanna stay here and I'll go turn it on? Yeah, sure. Okay. So how do you feel about it? Good, it's just the pressure is a little bit low. The pump is 100 feet down in the ground, plus it's 100 feet that way. So it's coming out, but it's just a lot more of a trickle than we were expecting. Yeah. The other complexity with the pump is it's actually a 12 volt pump because we don't have our full solar system up and running yet. So when we do have that, then we'll be able to switch to a 220, which will give us tons of PSI. So I'm still hopeful. That's a lot of electrical and plumbing terms, but basically <laughs> it's a much stronger pump yeah. to provide more pressure. So. so we've got this in place for when that comes. That's something motivating, right? Yeah, and I mean, it's working. Like it's providing water. So yeah. just a little bit slower than we had hoped, but we'll call it a win. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go eat because we are I'm starving. Sorry. Yeah. Kay. This is pretty much how we've spent the rest of the day. Are you asleep? <laughs> I wasn't fully asleep, but I could have been <laughs> if I had like five more minutes. <laughs> it has been um, a little bit of a yo-yo of a week emotionally for us. Obviously, last night we were really down in the dumps about finding out about the house and all of that, but we just found out some really, really amazing news and we wanted to share it with you. Yeah, so we've been living in the dome since December and through that we've been able to see all the different temperature fluctuations and how the dome performs through all the different seasons. And the very extremes of yeah. those seasons, <laughs> the winter and the summer, it's been interesting, which well, is sort of why we haven't been in the dome lately. Yeah, I was going to say, like, for instance, right now it's easily 10 degrees warmer inside the dome, so that's yeah. why we've been spending most of our time outside, is it's just too hot to be in there. So we've been working with the company that we bought the dome from. Huge shout out to Donnie for listening to all of our unsolicited advice on how the products can be made just a little bit better for this type of living. So. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of like guinea pigs, right? Like not many people live full time in a geodesic dome. And even if they do, it's not in the PVC style that we live in. So we've just come up with so many ways that it could be improved. And it's cool that they actually listened and took mm -hmm. us seriously. They've been developing more products and it's just, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's just very validating, I think, and also makes it so that we know that it's going to be way warmer this winter living in the dome and allowing us to build our dream house without having to rush it because we feel like we need to get out of the dome. Yeah. The point is, though, the silver lining, if we had of had the house being delivered next week and then now we're going to be able to completely retrofit the dome we wouldn't have been able to do both at the same time so the fact that the house is delayed is really exciting because there's a truck on its way right now bringing us all the materials it's going to be an incredible amount of work we basically have to start the dome from pretty much scratch but that's fine it's going to be worth it because it's going to mean life is going to be way more comfortable I, I'm just, I'm so relieved. <laughs> exactly. But I think we're going to end the video here and we'll catch up with you guys next Sunday when we start working on the dome.
really exciting. Okay, bye guys.